car. All there. All right. So, uh, with we've got the. Uh, are you familiar enough off the top of your head with everything? Where if I mention like we got the control room and the live room, you know, there's two rooms right. in the studio. Now, like starting out, like uh, I'm gonna start out at the bottom here. Uh, we have master dimmers when you come in on I into either room right by the door. There's like a master dimmers right on the wall that control all the LED lights. And yeah, we what we have is we have uh, we went back and changed it where we have LED and some incandescent lights, and then right. in the control room we have LED lights over the raised platform. Right. So we've got a separate dimmer for the lights over the raised platform, the LED lights around the the perimeter of the room, and then the incandescent lights around the perimeter. Of the room. Right. So you actually have three wall dimmers. Right. To control things differently so they're right. not all one master right. uh, dimmer. Now what I was wondering was uh, after doing a little more research and a little more reading, mm -hmm. I sort of uh, came to the conclusion that actually not having those dimmers when you come in on the wall, uh, not having those, and is it possible to like have a master dimmer panel for both rooms by that control platform? Because the thing is, uh, it's handy to have lights there when you walk in the door, but that's it. As far as like functionality, uh, if I've got someone, you know, being in studios for about 15 years, you know what it's like to record to, when you're about to record, mm -hmm. when someone else doesn't have to like walk out of another room to come in and turn down lights, or if like the artist, the artist not having to get out of their state of mind to go turn down lights, it's like a really big deal. So uh, we realized that like over time it would, uh, be way more function. Uh, it would it would be way more cool for us if we could control everything from that platform. Okay. Yeah, what we can do is uh, provide a, a master demo station there. I mean, do you want to? Uh, the question is, do you want to spend a couple of thousand bucks to get like a master demo station with with presets on, or do you just want like? Wall, like Basically, a typical like, with all the different lights. Well, this is what I had. Uh, I was I was curious about. It's like I know where generally everything is going to go on that control platform, but uh, like the lights that are going to be in the ceiling panels, those have those metal uh, metal tubing or whatever that you can yeah, like adjust, like, right? Like, right, like, like that. that. Well, could we possibly have like coming out of the electrical platform or out of the control platform? one of those tubes like sort of attached to uh, something that may go on a wall but we could end up putting it maybe on the desk or we could put it on top of our like one of our rack things is it possible to have it sort of mobile yeah, I mean, like re that really what you would sounds to me like what you're talking about you know without getting into like a big dmx yeah you know which i'm not trying to get into is to have someone fabricate a box. Okay. I know that, I know it's not cheap to do stuff like that, but if we take out the other two wall dimmers altogether, would it make, would it be that much more expensive to just route the wiring into the control room in that okay. spot? Because we're already doing the jackhammer in the floor to bring the power yeah. from the electrical panel no. to get it. No, because panel. we're coming right over the top of that. Okay. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll be up at the barge, but basically we're coming over the top of your control room for your home run from there anyway. Because I know we're going to have the ceiling panels are going to be attached to wenches. That's going to have to be somewhere that's really sturdy, maybe a half wall. And so, like, I don't know if maybe we could put the dimmers and those wenches in the same, so we could, like, design the design the spot. Yeah. For those, uh, do you have any ideas or like just any just sensible direction that may help me? Just yeah, yeah I would say the least expensive way would just be to, as far as electrically, I'm not sure. I mean, if you already have something that you're that you'll have that we can mount a box, our boxes in, right, and put them all in one location, you know, that's going to be, you know, that's not going to add very much in terms of electrical cost at all. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, I don't know how the city of Vestavia would react to us, you know, fabricating a box and putting them in there so you can have it loose. Yeah, that one's not, 
sit in well with me because i feel like that's going to get too expensive and then also if the city's going to have any issues then i'd rather just consolidate the dimmers that already would be accepted you know yeah, very you know another thing is if, if anyone ever drops on that box yeah then it, it's going to pull on yeah your, your i don't cables. want that of course we can my only i can also rig up some kind of you know and plug thing to where when you get done all you got is plugs on the wall and then you just attach your dimmers to it. I don't know what that means. Plug. Like uh can I write on this? Yeah sure please. Basically you know still at the wall you know wherever we decide to put the you were talking about putting the dimmers. Right. Basically we have a, a box here that's got like a a receptacle. Okay. Instead of a dimmer switch. Okay. Then you have a an attachment plug going to your box, and then you have your dimmers mounted in a prefabricated box. What that does is, if this ever gets pulled, it's going to unplug this uh, instead of damaging anything. It seems like a really clean idea. Uh, does it? Does it uh, does it equate like uh, say economically to put the two? How much extra would it be to leave the, the dimmers where they are right now and have like one more on a wall or on something um, by the control uh, control uh, platform? Or would it be a better idea economically to get rid of the two that I technically know we don't need and just concentrate that I mean, cash? We can leave them in there. We're talking about basically the cost of the dimmer. Because it's a low voltage dimmer for and the LED lights. Okay. And the incandescent, you'll have to have a switch in one location and a dimmer in the other. So you know you can have your switch in your control room or in your live room, and then your dimmer in the, the other control room. room. Oh, switch in the live room dimmer. Oh, you mean for the incandescents or just the yeah, LEDs? Yeah, for the incandescent. Do we? I don't even like need uh, a dimmer on the incandescents. I don't think, because technically, if there's any recording going on, they're off. Okay. Um. And I'm discussing. Yeah, I mean, we can we can put switches on. The only problem you have with that is lamp burnout. Okay. Because of the end rush current. Okay. Uh, then, again, that. What do you mean exactly by uh, lamp burnout? And typically, current. when you're when an incandescent light is is burning you know you're just for example you may be drawing one amp at 120 volts okay that, that gives you 120 watts the rating of your lamp okay. when you first flip a switch on there's a arc of electricity and your amperage for a very short amount of time like a you know a few milliseconds is you know maybe six or ten times the one amp. Okay. So I'm, I'm for, for, that, for that short period of time you got a high end rush current going through your, your lamp. Okay. And that's usually when you have, you know, if you ever turn on your lights at home and the lamp burns out. Right. It's usually right when you start turning you know, right when you turn it on. It's never uh, it's never when it's just sitting there burning. Right, right. It's right, always of course. you know when you flip that switch. Of course. So, um, I don't, I don't know exactly what to say right now. It's, uh, it, this is like, I feel like the last sort of big, simple, but big thing to figure yeah. out because, you know, there's obviously codes, permits, money's got to be spent on the work and like the actual hardware. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't, hold on. Moving on real fast. Uh, in that control platform, we're going to have analog equipment on this side, computer right here. Can we have like the, comp the side with like that we're going to use for the computer? Can that be on its own circuit? Can the well, yeah, actually, if you look at, at what we did on the, on the power plant, each one of those receptacles I put on a separate circuit. Yes, each uh, individual outlet. Each outlet yes, is on a that's circuit. awesome. So. Uh, high five. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, and then I guess the only other thing I was going to ask then was, because uh, that just answered this other question, um, in the 
live room are are the what about the plugs in the live room that we're gonna like most likely be putting amps into and stuff? I think we put a total of three circuits in that room spaced out okay. evenly where you have you know a circuit like basically going down the wall you would have something you know similar to this except you could have a plug in one location and then you know two feet down you'd have right. another one and basically you know you have a one circuit two circuit three circuit one circuit two circuit three circuit okay so gotcha. it's, it's alternating so that okay you know, I like that that's great so hopefully you know and the lighting's on its own circuit yeah too. lighting's on a different circuit Excellent. so you shouldn't have any issues with you know unless Unless you come in with, you know, five or six different amps. And On one thing? Yeah. All right, yeah, well, knowing that, then we would make sure to, like, be smart about where we plug things in. All right. This is great. All right, that actually, those are real, like, big for me. And the only thing that I'm still, that uh, is still a little bit, is not resolved is just this dimmer situation. Just switching the, just switching the lighting and where we want it. Where just you want the, the controls? Dimmers. Yeah. I mean, as far as least expensive, it's just going to be taking all those dimmers, putting them in one location at the control. Okay. And, you know. Excellent. I can handle that. We just have to mount it somewhere. All right. And how? Which I mean, if you have, you know, tables like this or whatever. Yeah. You know, you can get it mounted to that. You know what? What about like? Is there any way to like, you know? Like imagine this was like a big piece of like oak wood mm -hmm. table. Is there any way that like, so say I'm working like right here, blah, blah, blah. Can I come and just like do some switching right here? Could you they be like be able to. right here? Yeah, I mean, because this is your conference. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's available. Okay. something where you can mount it in there. Because that would be and incredible. Then it's just gonna be because that way it's completely out of the way too, but it's completely right there when you need it. That's amazing. Shoot, even maybe on this, uh, that's that's great. Yeah, that's the issue with moving that. That's awesome, because we know exactly where the tables are going to be. Because there's going to be, in that platform, there's going to be steel poles mounted and then cement poured around it. On both sides, we're going to lay these like big seven-foot pieces of like wood on top of. So. That we know for sure. My biggest problem is like, where would we put the dimmers? Since at least I know where we'd put the uh, table.